Welcome back to the Fuck I State Well. I will be back at Java World in Huron, Ohio on the NS Chicago line doing some more well fitting. I will be meeting up with a couple buddies of mine. Here comes the first westbound. He would be flying west towards Chicago, if that's even the destination. But I'm pretty sure it is. Here comes an eastbound manifest. That's heading towards Conway, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, with an AC 44 C6 helm, leading with a P5 4269. This will be our second eastbound that we would have, but it will be our third plane of the day. I wouldn't be here all day though, but anyway, we would see a lot more trains than we would, I would thought we would. Since we usually get here around like 11 or something, like later, or I don't even know sometimes. Depending when we get out, but just matters that we see some trains but that's the least what's going on today because we always see see we in like 30 or 40 minutes which is pretty darn good but still you gotta like check ATCS here and there This is our third westbound of the day. I would not be surprised if we would see a lot of intermodals, but the 97.99 I have seen a lot lately in the Toledo area. So I don't know if it's been going back and forth along the intermodals going east and west on the Chicago line. I don't know. I just guess what they have as power, they'll take it. So. I don't know, but I've seen this one this unit at least a lot of times already.
Here comes another westbound. Not in a model. It's 11N from New Jersey to Sterling Heights, Michigan. It's just Jeevos. It's an ROX train. I don't care. It works airline, yard, and Toledo, which I kind of care these days, but ROX trains, it's kind of cool. So, but the one train I do care about is Triple Crown. We don't see those trains anymore. So, yeah, I'm not going to get into detail about the Triple Crown, but this ROX train is flying with 11N. 11N is flying. I'm not sure if he's late or not, but he's flying west. Here comes another eastbound and immortal. 4605 is taking the lead to go east. I'm not sure what the final destination is, but I'm pretty sure it's from Chicago, Illinois. So, just three units. 4605 is one of the brand new 46. Well, it's not brand new now, it's been out for like a while, but the 46 series was. Brand new in 2022 in August. So I wouldn't say it's new, so they're probably getting into the 47th series of the AC3 from CCXM. Not really sure about that, but 47th series of the AC44 CCXM? I don't like AC44 CCXM. They're okay. But I like the 4000 and 4001 and through the 4005 and stuff. But the black main and the blue main, same with the yellow main, those ones are cool. Alright, we're back in the Cleveland district. Here comes L13 around the corner. We would be sitting here for like 10 minutes till this L13 around in the corner. After we would get this um, eastbound on this Cleveland district, we would go back to Java Road and see whatever we would get. But right now, let's focus on this L13 with an SD60E duo in a GP38-2.
Here comes this 20 a.m. flying east towards uh, Baltimore, Maryland. Yeah, we just got here to Gobble Road. I think we just got back from shooting L-13. Here comes 28 m flies east. Here comes in Westbound Manifest. Finally, we could see another manifest after the second train that we would saw. Well, besides L13. 35N from Conway, Pennsylvania to Decatur, Illinois. With an ace leading and then a UP Jeevo trailing second. It would be cool because I haven't seen the UP in a while and well this would be the first foreign power engine that I have seen all day. I would not know what the symbol is, but it's another intermodal, so, yeah. This one's also hauling it. A lot of these trains have been going fast. Not slow, fast. Just fast. 4461 would be taking the lead of this intermodal. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's going to Chicago. Since some of these animals go to Chicago anyway. With another Ford Visitor trailing second, of course. It's another Union Pacific, but it's a Zero, of course. Anyway, it's another eastbound, but this one is a Unit Great Train, bound for Crescent. I would guess it's for Crescent. 
right Craig? When they come for here, they're either like they're always going to question. So I'm guessing this one's heading for question as well. Here comes an eastbound manifest. It looks like it's a solo Jeevo. Well, it is a solo Jeevo leading. It's NS. Why could it be foreign power leading? Chicago Line? There's a lot of Chicago Line trains that need. I want to be foreign power lead. But, I think I just missed seeing them. Or, missed foreign power lead. When it comes to form power, leading on freight trains on the sky line. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. Because there's two trains, that's all. That's all. Surprise, surprise, here comes a weird DPU, but a Union Pacific will be served as a weird DPU on this manifest. Here comes our last train of the day at Java Road. Anyway, it would have an SD70M-2 leading. Well, the SD70M-2 number will be 2770. It will be taking the lead for L16 for Sandusky, Ohio. So, yeah, this will be ending off here at Java Road. Then we will be eating at Chili tonight. So, anyway, I would thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time on a Buckeye State Well.